Hello! In this tutorial we'll have a look at macro filters, which can be used in a program just like regular filters, but are more like sub-programs or functions, which can contain many filters inside. Project Explorer is where you create and manage macro filters. In fact, the main program is also a macro filter, set by default as program starting point, just like the main function in C++. There are three types of macro filters, which are used for different purposes. Here, we'll focus on the simplest type, step macro filters. Steps are used to organize the program into logical components, encapsulate the details, and to be able to reuse certain parts of the program. Double-clicking a macro filter item in the Project Explorer opens macro filter definition. Let's create a simple thresholding program, but this time as a macro filter. I'll go back to the main macro filter, which is our current program, and add an instance of the step macro filter I've just created. If I run the program, this macro filter is executed, just like a regular filter, but I can go inside it and check the algorithm. If we want to pass data to the algorithm and to return the results outside of this macro filter, we'll need to use the inputs and outputs blocks, which are the entry and the exit point of the macro filter. Right clicking the inputs block lets us define an input of the macro filter. You can define different properties of this port, but for now I'll just define its data type. You can do the same to create an output by right-clicking the Outputs block. Now, the data from macro input can be used inside the macro filter and the result can be returned to the macro output. When we get back to the main program, we can see that the instance of the step macro filter in the program has ports which let this macro filter communicate with other filters and macro filters in the main program. We can use this macro filter now how many times we want, just like predefined filters. Each instance of this macro filter has its own input and output data. As you probably noticed, I used Project Explorer and Macro Filter Navigator to navigate between macro filters. They may seem to be similar, but they have different purposes. Project Explorer should be rather used to define and manage macro filter classes, but if you want to check your current program structure or navigate to a certain filter instance in your program, use Macro Filter Navigator for that.
It's good to know that you can also create macro filters by extracting existing parts of your program. Just select some filter instances, right click them and choose the Extract Step option. This creates a new macro filter from the selected instances, but doesn't change the program behavior at all. It works exactly the same.